If I have to give my spouse half of my retirement after a divorce, should I still go forward with divorce or just ride it out and stay married? This is a great question, but not for the reasons you may think. Remember this first. Just because you do not file for divorce does not mean you will prevent a divorce from occurring. Your spouse can file for divorce and obtain a divorce whether you agree to it or not. This is what no-fault divorce is. No-fault divorce does not mean that you can't get a divorce if you've committed no fault. No. What no-fault divorce really means is that one who files for divorce is not required to find fault or ascribe fault to his or her spouse as grounds for divorce. Otherwise stated, even if your spouse is perfect in every way and has done nothing wrong, you can still file for divorce against your spouse anyway. No fault need be ascribed to your spouse to get a divorce from your spouse. So as you can see, if you think, quote, I'll hang on to all my retirement funds and benefits as long as I don't file for divorce, close quote, that is not true. You can't just write it out and keep control of all your retirement funds and benefits. The reason why is that your spouse could file for divorce against your will and seek, and almost surely get, in the absence of exceptional circumstances, half of all retirement funds and benefits acquired and accrued during the marriage. Mm-hmm.